see everybody doing tonight. Hey. Let's see, we've got a, uh, who is this commentating with me tonight? Uh, this is Dennis, I go by LOZ online. All right, Dennis, welcome. Thank you very much, LOZ. So what we have going on right now is Stephen Geef Benke versus Jason, the Afro A. Dalsam, Afro Cole, Dirty Cole, AC, aka everything. We've got a blind select tonight, everybody. These guys have played each other multiple times, so they play multiple characters. They are not willing to give each other any inch. And this is going to be really hyped, too, because these two people, they're really going at it now. Yeah. Cole has been winning everything lately, and then Geek is really showing us some good shit as well. Barely, barely lost to Jeff at the Tofu Dojo. And then uh, Cole over here, let's see, we got the Northwest Majors qualifier, and then before that we had Gameflex. Man, these people want it. Indeed they do. So one second, let me actually gather some info on the characters they're going to be using for first round. One second, guys. All right, hey, tell me, what cold? What? All right, Steven, Steven, I want you to tell me, who do you want to use? All right, all right, take yourself a second, all right. I haven't even thought about it. Well, think about it soon, he already has this decision in. Right now we have guys as a blind select and these guys are about to pick their characters. Steven's gonna be picking first. It's already already no Cole's choice. We have Steven picking Akuma with Balrog being the choice of Afro Cole. Blind select is really important here because these guys are not character specialists. They are game specialists right here. Yeah, they are V gamers. Let's just say that's more than just anything. V A G A Y gamers, alright? These guys play all the same time. They don't take days off. They don't have work days. They have V game days. So as you can tell, we have Akuma versus Balrog, and here we go are going live. There's not a I believe this is oh, this is a button check actually. Never mind. Interesting enough, these are the characters they're using, so. So what do you think about this matchup? Honestly, as I can tell, this is a pretty damn good matchup. I think anything, it should be a 6-4 in Akuma's favor. Yeah. Mainly because Akuma has the options to keep Balrog out, but he also has the offensive ground, uh, up close game, to keep Balrog at a bay. So, Balrog has those invulnerabilities, like say, EX Dash Punch, the really quick specials, like turnaround punch as well, to get around fireballs. But they are usually used as bait. Like if Akuma can use fireballs as bait to make Balrog do that, and the frame amount, the, the amount of frames that go by allows Akuma to like answer with like a Shoryuken or some sort of answer. I mean, typically how Balrog has to play against fireball characters is once you get into the corner, matchup changes a lot different. But Akuma's big. Akuma can get out of there. Yes, Akuma has those telephone answers. Balrog has the ability to put a lot of pressure with just that standing jab. And just walk jab, walk jab, walk jab, walk jab, all day long. But if there's anyone who knows how to put him in the middle, it's not a and here we are live with the first blood going to Akuma. We got a pretty even matchup so far. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, nice focus by Steve Binky in the roundhouse getting past that uh, Buffalo headbutt. Ooh, demon flip dive kick. A lot of good reads here from Deep. So far, the AAA grab by Balrog. Ooh, bad choice on teleport. That's a nice walk. Good bait by Cole. A nice low, low strong to headbutt. Let's see. Right now the answer is, and a big deficit is the fact that Akuma has very little life in this game. Oh, nice dive kick to the turnaround punch. He's got the head, ooh, he had the health advantage, but oh, Cole dropping the ultra does make this quite a bit of a ghost story, everybody. He could be haunted by this decision. Oh, and he was. If he had hit that ultra, that would have been a game over situation, but Binky coming back with that, that Akuma shot. That's really what it's going to come down. Ooh. If Cole can get dash. a good read, a lot of damage. Yeah, that dash punch to that turnaround punch. Ooh, Demon Armor getting coming really soon, but not answering what Binky wants him to do. Geef is just strongly doing this. Let's see. Oh, right now Cole's playing quite the smart game, blocking quite a bit of these moves right now. Ooh. Oh, he's going to make that. Oh, he's not. Chipped it. This is cheese worthy right now. I'm seeing it's going to happen. Oh, all right, nice. Very smart play by Cole. He had a lot of the right answers to anything that Steven was doing. It's just overall a good round for Jason Cole in that favor. Mm. A couple of focuses, getting around those jabs. Nice show where you can answer. Ooh, turnaround punch, having that answer. Ooh, 
Let's see, Okuma coming in with a nice jab, 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 fireball to dash, Shoryuken. Oh, <laughs> oh, nice two whiff. Which city right now? Let's see what's going on right now. Balrog has the advantage at both health and a bar right now. I would say first round going to Jason Cole. I mean, the big thing you see there is like most of those teleports, when they happen, Cole was really good. First one, he got that punch. Second one, he demon guard again. Cole did nothing. Third one, another reach. That's going to be the big thing. I mean, it's really easy for Akuma to get out. He does have a soft but Cole is reading really, really well. Yeah, I think I think it's safe to say that Cole reads a lot. I think he's read the uh, Pride and the Prejudice by Mormonisms.com. I'd say overall, he knows the Twilight book series in and out. He can't he can't contest with that. He knows werewolves. He knows vampires. He knows twinkly shit. So I wouldn't have to say that he's gonna have this going good. But Steve Binky picking Dalsum, which is actually Cole's main for the most part. It is, but the big thing is this is gonna be what Geeft is more comfortable with. This is a character he knows. Yeah, I just have to say, uh, Dalsum being the advantage against Balrog, though, even though, like, there's lots of answers for Balrog, Dalsum has the ability to zone the crap out of this guy. Now, let's see what happens. Oh, EX Buffalo Bill hitting that uh, Ultra 2 right there. Let's see what happens. Is the answer enough? And that's a KO. Jab, jab, jab for the finish. Jason Cole. All right, now we have game point for Jason Cole. Steve, Steve Geeft Binky can get this ish off. What's going on? He has the ability to get through this because one, Dalton has the advantage over Balrog in my opinion. It's true, but I mean one bad thing and then Balrog is in there. And once you're in there on Dalton, it's not easy. I think the biggest issue right now is that Cole is just utilizing the armor breakers through and through. No issues like throwing them out there. Nothing considering they have longer startups. I don't think Cole has any fear of throwing him out there just because one, he knows Dalsum has to get through them and override them. He now has the health advantage. It's a quarter to a half health. Now we're bringing the health to even situation. If Steve, this is the Steve's chance to come back right now. Even health right now. Can he do it? Ooh, nice read by Steve. Oh, let's see, even again. And here it comes. This is game point for Jason, or is this is the answer for Steve? Is this his retribution? Oh! And his retribution is a grab on the tap! The tap is just so... He called that tap, son. 1-800-COLLECT all day. Cheap as hell. Oh, here we go. Another tap going to that EX headbutt. Overhead to jab, though. Counter hitting. Let's see. Jason is not happy with that round being taken from him. Stunned. He's already got stars all day like Mario Kart. And he's dead ski. That right now, game is to Jason Cole, two to zero versus Steve Geek Binky. Glad to see it happen like that. Very, very exciting match nonetheless to commentate. Uh, Geek was doing a good job with those normals, just keeping him out of rush punch, but it's after that. Once you stop him, he's still in a very good position. Yeah, I think overall the taps, the EX armors, that really allows Balrog to build, bring that meter in, and it like, allows him to use that meter to get into it. But the factor is, Steve could have used a little bit more normals to really avoid getting hit with those taps, to avoid getting hit with a lot of that stuff. He should have probably done some jump backs, the yoga snipes, just to avoid the EX armors. I mean, I think that would have been a bottom.